morning. So good morning, David. Good to see you again. Uh, we are recording some um, author talk shorts today, and we're very excited to have um, Dr. Shine back again. And Amy, if you'll make sure this recording uh, goes live on Facebook on Friday, I want to announce that Dr. Shine, David Shine, will be our guest on Author Talk um, Monday, this Monday, which will be, um, what's the date on Monday? Um, 30th, March 30th. So Monday, March 30th, our guest will be Dr. David Shine. And we'll talk about a lot of stuff going on. We'll have longer, uh, more time then. And um, also be talking about his book, The De Decline of America, 100 Years of Leadership Failures. So that's what we're going to talk about for this, for this uh, call. David, is your book, Decline of America. And you've looked at how many presidents? Well, we covered 17 presidents in the book. We covered Wilson through Obama, which interestingly, given that there are supposedly more Democrats than Republicans in the United States, it's eight Democrats and nine Republicans. And actually, if you add Trump, that's eight Democrats and 10 Republicans over the last hun roughly 110 years. The book, we used a round number of 100, although the book actually covers 104 years. And we're now up in a, in a window for where I've been asked to present over 108 years, roughly. But uh, that was our target, was to talk about kind of the modern era, which began with Wilson and World War I. So, um all presidents are most, and I, I never thought of Bill Clinton being lucky not to have had any major events go on during his uh, presidency, but m most presidents have faced some catastrophic event or are potentially catastrophic. So um, now, right now, we're dealing with the uh, coronavirus, um, and we talked that Truman would be a good president to have right now. But of all of the things that happened, we had the Bay of Pigs, we've had World War II, um, all these events have happened since World War I. Um, which one of those do you think was required the president to, required the most out of the president, I guess? Um, I do think that Trump has done reasonably well as a president. Uh, this is his crisis, if you will. And I wouldn't give him a perfect grade by any means, but a lot of people applaud his decision very early in the game to bar all traffic from China. And China, of course, is the origin of the virus. And I do think that Trump is listening to the uh, fine people around him like Dr. Anthony Fauci, who is the world's leading expert on epidemiology and these type of infections. So we're, we've got good help. We're, we're, I think, making reasonable decisions. I am a pretty big critic of the shelter in place orders. I don't think that because there are so many exceptions that they're necessarily that effective. I think uh, social spacing, uh, hand sanitation, sick people staying home or getting in for good medical care are far more effective solutions. Well, thank you very much, David. This has been very informative. We now know more about your book and the different presidents and um, how they were graded. So thank you for that. The book is available. Um, it's available on Amazon. So just look for The Decline of America by Dr. David, S-C-H-E-I-N and get you can get it there also um david is available we're in houston david is available to speak for various organizations um and he has done a lot of work with different civic groups he, speaks, he is a professor at the uh, university of st thomas here in houston so um he has a lot of topics if you're interested in him coming to speak to your networking group to your civic group or to your organization, um, feel free to get in touch with him or with me. We'd love to um, introduce him to you. He could speak now through Zoom or other video conferencing resources, um, and he'll be available to come in person 
once uh, we are past this epidemic, this pandemic that we're experiencing right now. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, David, for being here. Elena and Amy, thanks for being here, and Rachel. And um, so we will see you again next time for another Author Talk short. Thank you, Sandy.